Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making cranberry turkey burgers with a green salad. Um, this is what it looks like. Admittedly, this is actually the very first turkey burger I'm ever going to have. So I'm hoping it's good. I I'm sure it will be. Um, so, you're going to need a grater, a medium bowl, a, a bowl of every size pretty much, a large pan, olive oil, and a grater. Um, here's the directions. So you need to put on the oven if you don't have a toaster in which to toast your buns. Uh, har har. Um, but I have a toaster, so I'm just going to toast my buns in the toaster. Okay, so we have, of course, ground turkey. We've got a, a lovely thing of spring mix right here. Um, we've got some sage. We have some pecan pieces. We have uh, dried cranberries. We have cranberry sauce, we've got mayo, we've got a little thing of thyme, we've got some vinegar, I believe we're going to make like a cranberry mayo thing, uh, the buns of course, and these are uh, potato buns, and then a thing of uh, panko. There's also a shallot that is currently in the, uh, in the freezer. Alright, so... Um, preheat your oven to 400 or however you want to toast your buns. Um, if you do toast your buns, um, you want to toast them, um, towards the end of when things are about to be ready, um, for like three to five minutes on 400. That's what they say. Anyway, um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, um, peel the shallot and I'm going to grate it, um, into a bowl, um, or finely mince, um, but all great because that's probably easier, I think. Um, I'm going to um, pick the sta sage leaves and discard the stems. Um, we need about a one and a half teaspoons of sage, although I'm not really sure uh, how much that is, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, and then we're going to form the pat patties, um, but I'll share that more with you later. All right, so time to get started. Um, I'm going to grate directly into the bowl because this is where we're going to put um, the turkey and everything and combine it to make the patties for the burgers. So I'm just going to do it right in here instead of on the, um, on the uh, cutting board. to the bowl with the shallots. We're going to add in um, some sage. We're going to open up the thyme and use about a half a teaspoon of it. So I'm just going to take a big pinch. Measure out a fourth of a cup of the panko, and I am going to measure this one because I feel like you need a specific bread to ra bread to meat ratio <laughs> or something. But they sent us more, so that's why I got to measure it out. And I'm going to add the panko in here, um, and then I'm going to put some salt and pepper in here, and then I'm going to mush it all up with my hands and combine it. So trying to get in here and work all this and then we're going to um, make two or three four inch patties. Okay, so here are the patties. Um, so basically I've turned on the, um, the stove uh, with a pan, 
uh, with some olive oil in it um, on medium high and I'm going to add the patties and I'm going to cook them about five to six minutes per side until no longer pink in the center and um, after that we're gonna just get the mayo ready and the buns so let me put these on the uh, stove and I'll be right back okay so to make the cranberry mayo it's pretty easy we're just gonna put mayo and cranberry sauce in a thing and mix it together with some salt and pepper that's, that's literally it It's about a tablespoon, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Alright, so that's what that looks like. All right, time to make the um, the salad, which should be pretty easy too. Okay, so to make the um, olives, uh, the salad, we're just gonna put in the spring uh, mix to the bowl. I'm gonna add the dry cranberries. Gonna toss in the uh, dry pecans. Tablespoon of the um, balsamic vinegar. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that, and a big drizzle of olive oil. And I'm gonna toss it, and that'll be about it. I'll be back to let you know what it looks like when it's all plated. All right. So as you can see, you're supposed to top the burger with um, some salad, and then eat some salad on the side. But anyway, that's what it looks like. I'll be back to let you know what it tastes like. Alright, so what did I think of the food? I thought it was fantastic. Um, my dad uh, thought that it tasted like a crab cake. I, I, don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where he got that from, but if you're watching this, Dad, uh, yeah, sorry that I put that in there. But um, it... I don't know. I I understand where he was coming from, though. But it was delicious. Um, I really enjoyed the turkey burger. I kind of figured I would. I didn't see why I wouldn't like a turkey burger. I just never, like, got one because every time, like, there's a, like, hamburger, then it's usually just a hamburger. Um, even if they ha have a turkey burger option, I just usually go for the hamburger because, um, yeah. But, um, but anyway, it was delicious. I really enjoyed the mayo that was on it. Um, I liked the, um, the spices that were in it. You know, it, it tasted a bit like, you know, like you had taken some of your, uh, turkey from Thanksgiving and kind of, you know, made it into a burger and that was that. Um, but anyway, I really enjoyed it. I would definitely make that again. And the salad wasn't that bad either. It was a pretty basic salad. Um, I think I've eaten that exact same salad from HelloFresh before. But uh, at least this time they were spot on with the spices and the flavor was excellent. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, like it and hit subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!